In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the throttle body on this Dodge Ram 2500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. It's located right on top of your engine, so let's get started. To do this job, we're going to have to take a resonator off of the engine, and to do that, we're going to need to take the snorkel off. It has two hose clamps here, 8 millimeter socket on each. Loosen these up. You don't have to remove them or anything, just loosen them up a little bit. Once you loosen both, you should be able to pull this off. It might be a little bit stuck, but just wiggle it and pry on it until it comes off. Whichever end wants to come off first, remove it. There we go, set that aside. Now let's remove this hose here, breather hose, take it off of the air box, and then with some pliers, remove the hose clamp that holds it on to the oil filler. Set that aside as well. Unplug the connector for the intake air temperature sensor. And then we have a 10 millimeter headed bolt right next to it that we have to remove. The bolt stays in here, but it is unbolted. Move over to where, right behind your uh, filler, oil filler neck here and remove this 10 millimeter bolt. That stays in as well, but at this point, this whole piece can come right up and out. This is your uh, intake resonator, that's what that's called. Let's unplug the electrical connector off the top of the throttle body, unlock the, uh, the red locking tab, and then press on this one, pull this away. Sometimes these get stuck, so pry it away with something. There's a lot of sand in here. Get that out, set the connector aside. And then there are four eight millimeter headed bolts that we have to remove to pull the throttle body away off the intake. off and set it aside. That'll make things a lot easier. There we go. It's got a dowel pin at the top there. There's the throttle body. Now grab your throttle body, line it up, start in one bolt just so it can stay in place. Once you have that one started, get the second one in. This should allow it to not fall off while you install the other two. Make sure they start on by hand smoothly. You don't want to cross thread these by accident. And with them started, let's snug them up. I'm going to snug them up in a cross pattern. That way this can seat properly. All right, now let's torque them. 50 inch-pounds is the torque for all four of these bolts in a cross pattern. All right, plug in the throttle body. With it plugged in all the way, lock the connector. Transfer this over from the old throttle body and install it on the new one. Make sure it's facing the right way. Reinstall the resonator. Make sure it goes over the throttle body. And as you press it over, make sure the two bolts here and here line up. Okay, that one's started. Snug it up. And that one is started as well. Snug this one up. Since we're here, might as well plug in the air temp sensor. Make sure that clicks. Install the snorkel onto the resonator. There we go. Press it all the way on. And then onto the air filter box. There we go. Make sure it's seated on both ends and then snug up these clamps. Just make them snug, you don't need to over tighten them. They uh, get over tight and they actually strip out, and then you need to replace them. With some pliers, squeeze on this hose clamp and stick this uh, breather hose back in. Release the clamp, make sure that's bottomed out. And on the other end, plug it into the air filter housing, just like so. At this point, the job is done. Turn on the engine, make sure it runs smoothly, and take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. 
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.